So guys, welcome to SA CyberSafe. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why beginners in cybersecurity get frustrated fast. So I'm someone that I've been into cybersecurity for a while and I can tell you there are times where I felt very frustrated and I felt like, is this really for me? And it's not because cybersecurity as a field is very tough. I mean, it could be. The reason is because when most people get started into cybersecurity, they have some of these challenges which I'm going to discuss in this video and I'm sure it will be very useful to those that are getting started with cybersecurity and those that are currently frustrated with cybersecurity. So you can go ahead and grab a popcorn or something, just grab something to eat because this is going to be a lengthy video sort of. The first reason why beginners get frustrated in cybersecurity field is because they have no available guide and what do I mean by this? So many people search YouTube, they search Google and ask for the courses that can help them get started on cybersecurity. And they ask people, what can I do to get started? Is there anything I'm supposed to do? Is there a course I'm supposed to do? Is there a degree I'm supposed to take first? So there are lots of confusion going into the beginner's head and the person does not know what to do. And then it starts to consult lots of resources that he sees online. And then when the beginner is trying to find out what courses or where you should get courses that will help the person in cyber security he hears something like this so you can go ahead and use youtube youtube is a really good platform if you want to learn cyber security so if you are getting started with cyber security you can use youtube youtube is the platform i use to start because i mean i didn't have money to start buying paid courses so i think youtube is the best so if you are really asking me about my opinion on this you can go ahead and use Skillshare or Udemy or Coursera, one of these paid courses. Don't use YouTube, it's so cheap. I mean, for, if you don't have money, who cares? You can go ahead and use YouTube. But for those that have money, I mean, go ahead and use Coursera, use Skillshare. I used those platforms and they were really good when I got started with cybersecurity. You can listen to the nonsense of the person telling you to use YouTube free courses. Ugh. They just go ahead and teach you anything they want to teach you on YouTube. It, it's not really standard. So this is what typically goes on in the minds of so many people that are getting started or so many people that give you this advice. Some of them really, those that have money will go ahead and get paid courses, but those that don't have money does not mean that the ones on YouTube or the videos on YouTube teaching you how to get started or the courses on YouTube does not mean that they are useless or they are not good. They are still good enough because some of these people that teach on YouTube, they just want to give you those courses for free because they feel like they should give you for free. And it does not mean those that are doing paid courses that they, people just have their different reasons, but you can go ahead and use any one that you feel is right or you feel is okay. If you have money, go ahead and get a paid course. I will try to link some of the videos some of the paid courses and free resources in, in the description for you if you are getting started into cyber security so this should not get you frustrated if you are thinking of how to start or what what resources to use don't get frustrated use any platform that you want to use so for beginners there are a lot of advice that could confuse the person from even getting started or from getting the right information when getting started you might hear things like you don't need to learn how to code it's not necessary Oh, but I forgot to tell you, I'm an incident responder. I really don't need, I don't really need code in my line of work or in my field. So you might need coding in your field. So you actually need to learn to code. For me, I am a penetration tester and we really use it a lot in our field of work or in my field of work. Also for those that are into malware analysis, you need to know how to code. Because I mean, if there's a code or if there's a malware, you need to be able to analyze it and see if that particular code if it's really malicious what the line of code says and all so i think for someone that is getting into certain fields like malware analysis uh penetration testing and some other parts of cyber security you need to actually know how to code so forget about those that are telling you not to code or not to learn how to code it's still an addition if you want to learn how to code it's really important if you're going into some of these fields but like the other guy said if you want to get into cyber security and you don't want to code, it's still fine if you are going into his field, maybe an incident responder or some of those other funny fields. <laughs> but trust me, it's good to learn how to code. It's a plus if you learn how to code. So you can go ahead and continue. Even sometimes you hear advice such as, 
you need to get certified before you get jobs. You need to get a, a form of certification before you get any job. But this is not always the case. Sometimes it's that way where you need to, when you're in a competitive place, you need to have a, a certificate to just may help you stand out in a way. But it does not mean that if you don't have a certificate that you wouldn't get a job. So this is the idea that they put in so many people's head that you need to have a certificate. So what happens if you are not working? Perhaps you just finished school and you want to get into cyber security and then you don't have the money to write a certificate because his certification in cybersecurity is really, really expensive. It's almost $300 or $400 for the least course you could take in cybersecurity or for the least certification course you could take in cybersecurity to show you how expensive it is to get a certification, except your parents are wealthy, except you are working and then you have a means of financing your certification. It's not really a good advice. So if you, if you are getting started into cybersecurity, yes, certifications are good, but there are other things you can do to also prove yourself certified. I did a video which I'll link in the description. You can go ahead and watch that if you're a beginner and then it will tell you the things you need to do to stand out and to also uh, open yourself up for a good job. So the second reason why most people get frustrated fast is because they don't find people that are into cyber security around them. So what do I mean by this? For example, you just got started in cyber, into cyber security or you want to get started into cyber security and then you go online and then you check for groups, you check for people, you even do all, some of these CTFs, maybe hackthebox.eu, try hack me. So you get, you get to meet some people online. But this might not just be enough. You might need to have this um, relationship with someone that you meet physically when there's a group of people that, for example, you could decide to reach out to someone on Twitter or a group of people that are interested into cybersecurity, maybe beginners and maybe people that are above that beginner level and let them know that, oh, we could create a group, we could create a WhatsApp group, a Telegram group, a Signal group that we could discuss stuff relating to cybersecurity, we could give ourselves assignments, we could give ourselves tasks and with that, they could, any information anybody has, they will go ahead and share it with you. So that way, there's a community of people that you know and you can even have video calls with them. You could meet up with them in, um, in hackathons, in CTFs, in live, in live um, simulations. You could visit them and you get to share your experience with them, your difficulties and everything. So sometimes online, having um, this conversation with someone online that is in a different country or, or someone far away might not really be helpful. I know this because I've faced some of these challenges. So look for people around you. Go to Twitter, go to um, WhatsApp, ask for, are you into cybersecurity? Is there anyone into cybersecurity that I can reach out to? Can we create a group? And just do something like that. It will be very helpful, trust me. There's a saying that goes like this, you cannot be a lone wolf in cybersecurity because you hear things like, oh, Russian, a group of Russian hackers, or a, or a security operation center. So you don't hear, most of these things are group of people coming together to either hack or commit fraud or commit something. It's usually in groups. So it's not something that you would just stay alone and then expect to uh, move further in it. You need to be in a group with a group of people that you can share your knowledge with and then receive knowledge from them. So I advise you, if you're not in any group, you can go ahead and join a group on Discord, on Reddit, on whatsapp telegram something you can really communicate with someone and then even see the person live so at this point if you found the video useful so far please leave a like or a dislike for this video but please do one i really appreciate it if you feel like the video has not been helpful go ahead and leave a dislike but if you feel you've gotten value so far go ahead and leave a like so the third reason why most people or most beginners get frustrated in cyber security is because most people don't pick a niche okay you might think for someone getting into cyber security, you might think cyber security is just cyber security, but no, cyber security encompasses lots of different fields. There are lots of, there are over 30 different fields under cyber security. If you are a beginner, yes, I obviously don't expect a beginner to just immediately pick a niche or say, I want to become a, a cyber security analyst or a penetration tester or a cloud security engineer or an incident responder. I don't expect you to do that immediately, but this is just some of the few roles or few fields that are, into, uh, that are in cybersecurity. There are lots more, lots, over 30 of them. So I don't expect you to immediately choose that this is where you want to be. Perhaps after the courses you've taken, after seeing the, the part of cybersecurity that you like, after understanding what these different fields do, you can now go ahead and choose. But if after six months or one year of joining cybersecurity, you still haven't found your niche, 
then you might most likely see yourself getting frustrated because you will just be everywhere and then you wouldn't be a master at one you wouldn't be able to get a job as um in one of these fields because when you want to get a job you don't get a job as a cyber security person or that is not you don't tag it that way you either get a job as a, an soc operator or a cyber security analyst or a penetration tester you get a job in a particular field and not just a job in cyber security no so you must be able to niche down to one that you like maybe after one month but please do not rush yourself the fourth reason most beginners get frustrated in cyber security is because they joined because they heard cyber security is very lucrative yes cyber security is one of the most lucrative uh, jobs that are out there or most one of the most lucrative careers that are out there and then you hear things like um, it's cyber security is really increasing jobs are increasing the need for cyber professionals cyber security professionals are increasing yes this is really true but if your main aim of getting into cyber security or getting into this field is because you want to make quick money or you want to get the money that's in this field trust me you will get very very frustrated the reason i'm saying this is because there are some times when you will be doing some projects but because you re you really never found uh, or you really never had passion for this you just got into it because of the money you quickly drop that that project or you quickly drop that problem and then you see yourself frustrated because all you are doing now is struggling trying to keep up with your job or trying to keep up with whatever you are doing not because you had passion for it or because you had passion for how it worked because for example if you got a job you applied for a job and then you got the job and they told you that they will pay you something lesser than you were expecting you will be very frustrated because you thought you were going to earn more if you didn't have passion for it you wouldn't calm down and then wait to grow up in the ladder cyber security is not just something that you will get into and then you get paid one huge sum of money if you start with entry rules as a beginner most likely you get entry rules and the entry rules might not pay much you might just get very little for example united states is different from nigeria uk is different from nigeria if you're in us they have cyber security companies they have lots so they know what the essence of cyber security is cyber security is something they've been doing for a long time and they know the essence so they pay more in the united states and in all those other countries but if you're in nigeria cyber security is something that they are still trying to um, inculcate they are still trying to build a, a group of cyber security professionals all around the country so you wouldn't expect to just get paid much except you're in the management role of cyber security so if you're just getting started maybe as an entry role you might not get paid much you might even see yourself doing it support rules or some of these other um, networking rules you might not be doing the major thing you want but if you have a passion for this you will just keep on growing up in the ladder until you get to the point where you are being paid enough so please if you are joining cyber security or if you're a beginner getting started with cyber security just looking at the the pay or just looking at the salary please and please you might get very frustrated once you go forward in this field so if that is the reason why you got started with cyber security or if that is the main reason you got started with cyber security then you might need to rethink or have a rethink so the fifth reason why most beginners get frustrated fast in cyber security is because most people don't have an aim or a target so if you don't have an aim or a target or a project you will get really 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 frustrated this happened to me when i got started with cyber security i was really frustrated there are times that i felt like is this really for me why am i still doing this and why what do i mean by having a target or having a project or having an aim for example don't just decide to do any random stuff have an aim that before um maybe next month before may before june before two months i must have learned bash scripting or before three months time i must have learned how to code in python you must have a specific goal and you must have a specific timeline to achieve that goal you don't need to rush some things could take longer than expected it's fine but the main thing is having an aim having a goal having a project you are working on have a project or a problem you want to solve in cyber security you might notice that some of the organizations around you don't harden their printer they use the default uh, passwords and everything for their printers their routers and stuff they, this could be something you're working on you could be working on a code to address this you could be working on a program you could be working on a presentation to address some of these things but there should be something you're working on if you don't have an aim of what you want to achieve for a period of time you would get frustrated because then you just be doing anything that comes your way and you wouldn't really see you wouldn't really get up to um, work at something but if you have a project you wake up in the morning knowing that oh i need to finish this project or oh 
I need to make up with this particular timeline that I've set for myself to achieve this thing. So at every point in time, that will be in your head. But if you don't have any goal, you just get frustrated. So these are one of the many reasons why beginners get frustrated in cybersecurity. I know if you are watching this and you've had some experience with cybersecurity or if you're a professional, you'll be able to share your experience. You can go ahead and share your experience in the comment section and then also let me know what you think about some of, some of these things I've said. How many of it is true or how many of these do you not agree with? But I would also love to hear the opinions of the opinions of most people that are that are either beginning or most people that are already into cyber security thank you for watching this video if you found it useful go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and consider watching this video which you can see on your screen where i talked on how to get started with cyber security if you're someone with getting started see you in my next video and stay safe